Hi everyone. Today we have Rahul, who secured All India Rank 20 in the Lean Forest Service Examination 2023 uh, with the Agriculture and the Botany Optional. Uh, welcome, Rahul. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So first of all, uh, congratulations for your uh, success in the uh, Lean Forest Service Examination. Thank um, you. Yeah. Uh, so, from a student's perspective, I have uh, some queries regarding uh, the Lean Forest Service Examination preparation. So, if you uh, clarify those doubts, it will be very useful for our students. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, first of all, actually, uh, you know, uh, to clear Indian Forest Examination uh, in the prelims stage, uh, since the vacancy is very less, so the cutoff is very high for uh, clearing uh, IFOS when compared to CSC. Yes. So, what is the, apart from the, uh, actually, one must have very strong foundation in the core subjects as well as other areas. So apart from the core area, what are the other areas uh, we need to focus to score high marks in GS? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, as you said, uh, we have to have a strong basics with respect to GS1 uh, paper. Hmm. And apart from the uh, reading standard books, I followed a few uh, few strategies which helped me. I think I scored 96 in prelims in this year prelims. Uh, yeah, very, very good. Score. Hmm. 2.6. Uh, there are certain things which help me, like uh, I analyze PYQs uh, by using a, a YouTube channel called IAS PCS Patashala, which helped me okay. to analyze uh, PYQs in a better way. They have done so many videos like PYQ meta analysis, PYQ topic wise analysis. And I did, uh, I referred to last 25 years uh, PYQs, but especially with respect to 2000, after 2013, I divided them into a uh, topic wise subjects, especially with respect to economy, if I get them. I once again divided them into monetary policy, fiscal policy, balance of payment, like the subtopics I made. And I identified few uh, important topics in every area. For example, in economics, monetary policy, fiscal policy, and balance of payment are the three important topics. And in international relations, places in news are the most, is the most important topics. And in geography, mapping is most important. And in ancient and medieval history, Buddhism, Jainism, and a uh, few uh, literature areas. Very late, very important. And in modern yeah. history, uh, this those uh, acts, charter acts like uh, uh, Government of India Act of 1935, 1919, and charter acts are very important. These are repeated once again. I identify, I identified these kind of topics in every subject, and I focus thoroughly on them. And I, I tried to complete each and everything in and around them. And uh, I may, I ensured that whenever the questions come from the, those areas, I will not make any mistakes. And identifying yeah. these areas would be very important to score in uh, high in the GS topics. And we can do this by uh, ourselves spending time on the PYQs and also by taking into help of a few YouTubers, which have done really good work. With one of which I mentioned as ISPCS Patashala. There are many other YouTube channels like this. One can refer to those, sir. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So apart from this core subjects, uh, what are the other, like uh, Economic Survey, India Yearbook, PAB, whether you refer to uh, these sources or... Uh... No, sir. Uh, I refer to vision test series. In vision mm. test series, they exclusively test series for uh, economic, budget and economic survey and also mm -hmm. for a year. And I uh, read from those, I so solved those uh, uh, test series without uh, referring to those. And I cross-checked with them. That is reverse learning. Like, what are the topics which I have made mistakes? I went through them and uh, learned from that, sir. Okay. I did not personally read uh, the this uh, economic survey and uh, uh, India yearbook notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So, um, so regarding Indian forest service, you know, there are two optionals we have to choose. Yes. So, uh, for agri graduate, actually there are only four options popular, uh, for Indian forest service, uh, forestry, geology, agriculture, and botany. So for agri graduate, uh, so, uh, based on, okay, usually I give a recommendation to the students to, to, to take uh, agriculture and botany optional. So I feel there is a best combination. So, uh, uh, you are uh, uh, you are optional for agriculture and botany. Yes. So, what is your suggestion okay, regarding this, sir? Uh, for agriculture graduates, one has to depending upon it depends on the person to person. But I would suggest in most probably agriculture and botany is a na nice combination because there is a, there is a repetition or overlapping between the syllabus in the especially in the paper two part. There is overlap of the syllabus, especially genetics part, crop physiology part, and the plant pathology part. Are, uh, I have so, same syllabus with uh, in both agriculture and botany, but in the botany, the depth of question is uh, a bit more deeper and we have to know technically more. And uh, in agriculture, it is okay to have a uh, 
sufficient uh, superficial knowledge but in botany we, we have to go in depth yeah the, in so both uh, papers are purpose or technical yes sir. So both papers are technical yeah hmm. in botany both papers are technical and there is uh, much uh, we have to focus on remembering things and uh, yeah, yeah, understand uh, uh, is very less so if one is finding it difficult to remember uh, for them it might be difficult to score good in botany because we have to remember a lot of things especially there are 20 families also there are uh, so much scientific names and also are there so uh, if you are good at remembering things one can uh, take agriculture and botany otherwise agriculture and agriculture engineering is also good uh, good i think sir mm mm okay okay yeah so actually what is your strategy regarding uh, so whether you combined uh, the syllabus between agri and botany whether you, you prepared a common notes for uh, both these subjects uh, sir i did not personally prepare any notes because uh, i started my mains preparation only after prelims mm -hmm. uh, so i i did not had any time so much time to prepare for any notes so i again it also depends upon individual to individual so i thought uh, even for gs subjects also did not prepared any notes i used to do markings and i used to read those markings itself i did not uh, read the entire book like that i was doing uh, for agriculture also i followed the same thing uh, after mains i whether, whether you combined the syllabus of agri and botany for some areas for genetics biotechnology yes sir i uh -huh. I, i first uh, again in the in the agriculture optional also i divided the, the syllabus into a one line syllabus for example synthetics and composites i mm, divided yeah. that and i also referred to pyqs i just uh, uh, divided them what are the pyqs asked in from this topic i before referring to a certain subject for example plant breeding methods there there are so many methods are like uh, there, there are bulk method of breeding pedigree method of breeding mass method yeah. something like that i i gave the headline plant breeding methods and i uh, checked with uh, in the previous year uh, i referred to pyqs and i divided them in topic wise so what are the year they have asked and what is what was the mask they have asked, marks they have asked for i did i did this exercise by myself and this has helped me a lot i think this is the most important thing i would say i have done because i uh, thoroughly know which In, in those areas which have give to more weightage and in those areas which i do not have to give more weightage for example mm. package of practices is such a big thing in agriculture yeah yeah there are more than 50 plus crops we if we have to refer and i did i refer to very only like in uh, cereals crops i would read two py uh, two po p package of practices in vegetables i would read two or three like that i identified those topics uh, fortunately in this year forest services mains uh, a package of practices on mango came which i have mm -hmm. prepared thoroughly and i could reproduce the same because here the uh, the cost benefit ratio is very less there are 50 plus crops they will ask one or two crops yeah so we have to identify those areas which are high yielding very high yielding topics and we have to thoroughly prepare them and i would suggest everyone to do this exercise like divide the syllabus into short short topics and look into the pyqs uh, pyqs and uh, uh, make them a pdf on your own yeah correct <clears throat> so regarding uh, so recent uh, based on the uh, recent trend in the upsc question paper so it's very uh, uh, mandatory to complete the entire syllabus so we cannot skip any part of the syllabus based on the weightage we can give importance to some topic and we can give less importance to some topic but we have to we not we cannot skip any part of it yeah 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 correct okay so so in this uh, case actually anyhow we have to cover the entire syllabus so uh, what is extra the strategy we need to focus on to score high marks in a uh, the science based options like agriculture and botany uh, sir uh, in uh, for example sources uh, in agriculture there there are uh, there are there are standard books and there are coaching materials two extreme options i would think Big standard books are uh, too bulky like lm and ready uh, uh, book and is a, is a very bulky i uh, uh, in coaching institute notes are very like uh, uh, short and crisp and they are not Uh, 100% complete in with regard to main answers i would say for beginners it is definitely helpful uh, one can get into a overview of the syllabus within a uh, in a, in a ready made form but for scoring high marks i referred this angro notes uh, andhra pradesh uh, mm. university uh, subject wise notes these are like these are prepared from standard books itself and these are not concise as the coaching institute materials i referred from this and uh, once again i looked into syllabus and mark those topics which are in the syllabus and eliminated those topics which are not in the syllabus so i read from these sub, uh, notes and i did not refer to either uh, standard books or coaching institute materials 
i refer to uh, notes prepared by uh, shankar academy notes for uh, agriculture economics and agriculture extension yeah. because in standard i found that these were not extensively covered and also i could not found uh, resources for them in anywhere else so i refer to notes prepared by uh, sir and uh, shankar shankar academy yeah thank you <clears throat> regarding botany what are the books you refer for botany Uh, sir, uh, I started pre- uh, preparing for botany only after CSC mains. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. very little time. Uh, one of my friend had bought uh, evolution botany notes, and I okay. got it from him, and I prepared from that itself. But apart from that, I referred to uh, uh, PPTs on uh, internet and also for ch- chat chat GPT. I used extensively chat GPT for especially uh, especially for topics which which I found it is difficult to. understand i just asked the chat gpt like explain the so and so in a sim- simple term or in a short okay okay yeah he just uh, understood them and uh, read my on, on my own good yeah so how do you manage uh, the time gap between uh, csc mains because you also appeared for csc mains so how do you manage the time between uh, csc mains and ifos mains within this period you have to cover um, uh, botany agri uh, then general english also right yes. Uh, sir by the time of csc mains i had completed my agriculture optional uh, to a certain extent and i uh, read uh, once again i read agriculture option the last 15 days so i divided it into 45 days and 15 days period during my 45 days i once again uh, read a basic reading for, i took around 7 days or one week to read to just to acquaint with the syllabus and what are the pyqs and where where can i refer this and i took 7 days to do that and after that i started uh, reading extensively and uh, in a bit deep, in a bit deep manner and i uh, i did not uh, i although i planned to give test series for botany i could not give the test series for uh, agriculture and for agriculture uh, i had given test series with shankar shankar academy and after uh, 45 days itself i prepared for agriculture meanwhile i uh, devoted like 2 hours daily for uh, gk and uh, uh, english paper although i start at start i could not find time to prepare for gk and uh, english paper after like 15 20 days i started uh, once again uh, uh, reading to the pyqs and uh, making few i watched few youtube videos and also referred to few seniors who helped me in preparing uh, gk and english sir okay so in the eps examination uh, time management is very cr- crucial to complete the entire paper so uh, so what is the role of the selection of the question to manage time yes sir this is very important because i myself have experienced this topic for example in agriculture it is divided one question is divided into 15 15 and uh, 10 in a uh, forest service 40 uh, it yeah, is for correct. 40 marks one question yeah, is 40 yeah. marks and uh, i would suggest in what happened with me was i know a very good answer to a one question and very medium or average answer to the next two questions mm-hmm. now i would suggest to select a question which you know average even if you know average answers for all the three questions you have to select that that question itself one question you know very well another question you don't know you just trying to write something that don't work yeah. i think that that will score good marks uh, that will not score you good marks selecting a question is very important and we have to uh, see like we have uh, investing one minute is also uh, justified while selecting a question but once we selected we have to do enough justice to the questions we have selected sir yeah correct <clears throat> so uh, regarding your answer rating practice okay, already you, uh, just now you mentioned that you uh, entered for the test series also so uh, how do you practice okay whether you uh, whether you did any uh, daily answer rating practice or only depend on uh, test series uh, sir i did not do uh, daily answer rating practice but uh, mm. it's once uh, uh, usually i used to do like uh, short notes sometimes only for specific topics Uh, like i used to do like intro body and uh, conclusion type type of, mm. type answers i used it in, in a rough manner not in a like 6 uh, to 7 minutes complete manner just i used to scribble those topics like uh, if you are reading soil and water conservation what are the factors of soil erosion i just used to write round and just i used to write in a point wise manner and this used to help me to remember what are the points that have to reproduce in the exam okay yeah so uh, regarding our uh, last question um, so in uh, ifos mains uh, one more important paper actually in our csc general english is a uh, uh, qualifying answer but in, in forest service uh, uh, they also count marks for general english so uh, one must secure uh, uh, top rank in ifos 
and they have to score a very good mark in general english also so what is the strategy for a general english paper sir this i have personally felt this because my marks in uh, english paper is just 136 whereas average mm-hmm. is 155 and i think i am 20 marks short in actually uh, you scored a very good marks in optionals uh, both optional aggregate and botany yes. so otherwise okay, if you scored uh, uh, extra 20 marks in general english and uh, you, you might have come in the top 10 yes yeah. sir this is the thing yeah. actually i i i thought i did not focus enough on essay writing practice and grammar things and i just superficially prepared uh, with regard to pyqs only i prepared i did not do any practice for uh, majorly to due to reasons one is time constraint and second one is also due to the uh, resource constraint uh, resources are not very much available for the english topics and i would suggest one has to read that the basic grammar books anything we can pick up and i also interacted with few seniors uh, they told they, they read renan martin uh, grammar book uh, they suggested me but i could not read that due to paucity of time uh, one can refer youtube videos and uh, read renan martin book and also one has to practice i think sir, before doing it in a main examination that's it, that is the most of the times that is the first time we are uh, writing the english main answer english answers in english language paper so one has to practice before uh, writing in the main examination i think sir yeah you're right so uh, thank you rahul any other uh, suggestions you want to share with our students sir uh, with respect to prelims i would uh, like to say that uh, uh, one has to keep their resources at minimum because there is this uh, fear of missing out with regard to upsc prelims preparation mm. uh, especially the market for agriculture uh, upsc prepa- uh, resources is very huge like there are n number of resources available to a, for a single topic one has to minimize this i think that is the biggest thing which i have done yeah. with respect to my previous attempt and this attempt i kept one subject one book or one yeah, subject correct. one material we have to do like this and we have to revise those again and again there is so much of resources available on the internet that one would get confused about what to read what to read and there is a fear of missing out so oh, we are leaving that we are leaving this one has to cope this when this this happens to everyone one has to keep their calm and uh, focus on uh, reading what they have read earlier itself then reading a new resource yeah okay rahul uh, thank you thank you so much for your uh, valuable time and inputs thank you so sir. i wish you all success in your uh, ifs career yes uh, thank you rahul thank you so much sir